for watching Lift It. I'm Chandra Barnett. And I'm Marnie Robinson. Lift It is a program designed to help viewers of all ages learn healthier ways of living. We all know that some of the key ways of adopting a healthy lifestyle is by exercising and being intentional about what we eat. So today, we are learning about functional fitness and endurance. Our guru, Chandra, she is a guru, with the help of her assistants, will demonstrate how functional fitness and endurance can improve your cardiovascular health. But here is the cool thing. You can do all of these exercises right from the comfort of your own home or in a gym. And later in the program, Marnie will talk about foods that have been shown to improve your heart health while also making you look and feel great. Well said. But please, before you begin any exercise program, check with your doctor, especially if you are battling a chronic illness. But before we get started, let's hear from the Muscleheads team. Yeah, my name is Cliff Jackson. I'm the founder, co-owner of the Houston Musclehead brand, uh, 2715 Emancipation, Houston, Texas, Third Ward, Texas. Uh, been here for a minute. Muscleheads, the brand itself, has been in existence since 2015. Uh, we started off as a fitness team, actually, that did competitive bodybuilding. And what led to it is that people would watch us on social media working out, and our workouts used to be so intense, people started just saying, hey, where are you guys training at? Where are you guys training at? And eventually, I had a eureka moment and said, okay, well, we need our own gym. And that's kind of what birthed uh, the gym idea, and that's how we end up standing where we are now. What makes this gym different is, it's about how you feel when you walk in. It's about your experience when you come in. It's about the camaraderie uh, amongst the members and amongst the staff towards members. Uh, Alan and our manager, Will, give either one of them, they take care of pretty much everything. Um, we're running a special for all Willow Avenue uh, Baptist Church members. Uh, if you come in, your membership's only $35 a month. There's no sign up fee, there's no registration fee, there's no cancellation fee, anything like that. We want to do something special for the members because at the end of the day, you can have all the money in your pocket, you can be have everything, but health is wealth. So if we don't take care of our, our spirit, minds, bodies, all of them go hand in hand. If we don't take care of our bodies, then, you know, that's a problem. We have to, you know, we're here to make, our, make sure our community stays healthy. Healthy. That's why we actually, uh, we push a lot towards getting our, older, our elderly people to come out and work out also. In honor of Black History Month, Wheeler Avenue decided to join forces with this year's theme, Black Health and Wellness, to highlight the importance of fitness and nutrition and the power we have to change the state of our health, both for ourselves and for generations to come. Knowledge is power. That is why it is important to understand the healing power of food. It can save your life. Why? Because food matters, and in more ways than one. Eating a not so healthy diet may not only impact your weight, but poor eating habits can also contribute to chronic illnesses like heart disease. According to the Centers for Disease Control, heart disease is the leading cause of death for adults in the US. And African Americans are at greater risk. Nearly 48% of African American women and 44% of African American men have some form of heart disease. So, what can we do to combat this problem? The Bible says that God gives us every seed bearing fruit for food and leaves from trees for the healing of our bodies. That's in Genesis 1:29 and Ezekiel 47:12. It's pretty clear. Eat to live instead of living to eat. Here are my top three foods you want to add to your grocery list for overall heart health. First on my list are leafy greens not just any leafy greens. You want to go with the dark leafy ones. Why? Because they are rich in nitrates. Nitrates help unclog arteries. Yep, that's what nitrates do. But leafy greens also have a host of other nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, including folate. Folate is a B vitamin that is helpful for heart disease prevention. Greens like kale, collard, spinach, turnip greens, Brussels sprouts, and even broccoli are all incredible sources of nitrates and folates, just to say the least. Number two of my favorite heart healthy foods, 
foods with good fats. Yes, I said fats, but I'm not talking about butter and grease. I'm talking about omega-3 fatty acids. They are the good fats and have been shown to lower blood pressure and to decrease the risk of having an abnormal heartbeat. Foods high in omega-3 include nuts, seeds, and salmon. However, if you have a nut allergy, try avocados or adding flax seeds and chia seeds to your oatmeal or your smoothie. And speaking of oatmeal, oats and grains are also among my top three foods for good heart health. That's great news for all of you oatmeal lovers out there. Oats are a type of whole grain that provide a fiber known as beta-glucan to your diet. Fiber is also known to help with your digestive health but it can also prevent heart attacks and strokes. Here's my bonus tip. Eat lots of beans and legumes. They are packed with fiber. Fiber has been shown to lower your cholesterol levels. And as you may know, high cholesterol plays a major role in cardiovascular disease. If we know better, we can do better. So let's all take care of our temples so that we can be effective in every good work. Let's eat to live because food is medicine. And now let's talk about functional fitness and functional movement. Our first exercise today we're going to talk about is the squat. These exercises that we're focusing on today are movements that we do every day, all day. The first one, as I stated, is the squat. The squat is a simple movement pattern that we use in order to pick things up off the floor, to sit. And we utilize our lower body muscles, which are our quads, our hamstrings, and our glute muscles. So my two volunteers here are going to do, these, do this exercise with me. So what I want you to do is we're gonna take a seat as, we're, as though we are sitting on a chair. And then we are going to exhale as we come up. And we're going to do another one. Sit as if you're about to sit on a chair. And rise. And let's keep that going. Give me a couple more. So these are exercises, as I stated, that you do every day. You're involving your core, as well as our sit muscles, which are our quads, our hamstrings, and our glutes. Very good, very good. And now, another movement that we do all day, every day, is push. We push doors open and we also pull. We pull doors open. So our volunteers are going to demonstrate this exercise by pushing, doing push-ups. Now with our push-ups, we utilize our triceps, our front shoulders, our deltoids, as well as our core. Very good. Our next pattern that we do all day, every day is pull. So as opposite of the pushing, we're gonna pull the door open, okay? So we're gonna demonstrate that by pulling a weight. Now at home, you're pulling a lawn mower if you gotta mow the lawn, okay? This particular exercise, go ahead, you're gonna pull. You're utilizing your bicep muscle, you're utilizing your back muscles to do this movement. Very good. And as always, you're utilizing your core muscles. Very good. And lastly, we have carries. We carry our groceries in, we carry laundry, we carry water jugs. This particular exercise will help strengthen your core, it'll help improve your posture, as well as it has some weight loss benefits along with it, okay? My two volunteers are going to demonstrate this exercise, and guess what? We're utilizing a squat to pick these weights up, okay? All right, get into the squat and stand. Now, before we move, what I want you to take note of is how his ears are directly in alignment with his shoulders. The same over here, the ears are in alignment with the shoulders, so you wanna make sure you start off with correct posture, okay? And all they're simply going to do is just walk. You're carrying your groceries, you're carrying those water jugs,
Excellent, very good. Now we're gonna put it all together. We're gonna do three reps at five rounds of each exercise. All right, let's get started. Our first exercise is the squat. Here we go. As if you're sitting on a chair. Very good. All right, next exercise is that push-up. Let's go. All right, Ms. Stinker, we're getting in position. All right, we're ready, let's go. Two and three, good. All right, now after we push, now we pull. And remember, we gotta pull on both sides. <laughs> All right, get into your stance and let's pull. One, two, three. All right, you'll wanna change your uh, stance. Here we go, and one, two, and three. Now let's carry. All right, very good. Remember, like I said, we're constantly working on our posture. All right. Remember, making sure you're upright and let's walk. All right, and remember to breathe. Okay, because, whew, think about those groceries, those jugs of water, milk, whatever it may be. You should start to feel this in your upper back. All right, very good. All right, let's put those weights down. And let's take it to the top. Again, round number two. Here we go with those squats. And one. Sit on that chair. Two. Get up from that chair. Three. And up. Take it to those push-ups. Woo, how we feeling back there? All right, you ready? And let's go. One, two, three. Woo, all right. Back up. Woo. Still full of energy back there? All right, all right, let's take it to those rows. We wanna have good, strong, good, strong muscles, back muscles, biceps, and let's row. One, two, three. Take it to the other side. You can do as many rounds as you'd like of this. It doesn't necessarily have to be the three reps for five rounds. Woo, and perfect. All right, let's take it to those carries. Woo, how are we feeling? All right, good deal. All right, let's walk it. Remember, keep your posture upright. Woo. All right. And this will help with your endurance as well. Woo, are we breathing a little heavy? <laughs> are we sweating? How are we feeling? All right, good. All right. And back to the top, what are we on? Round number four now, three. <laughs> All right, here we go. And let's squat it out. One, two, use those muscles, three. Woo, and let's take it down to that push-up. All right, now with the push-up, you can do as, as Miss uh, Tinker is doing. One, two, and three. And let's come on up. How you doing back there, Reverend Boone? All right. <laughs> Let's take it to that row. All right. Back muscles, bicep muscles, being able to pull. Here we go. And one, two, and three. Woo. Let's take it to the other side. We don't want to be uneven. Here we go. One, two, and three. Woo. All right. Let's take it to those carries. Let's carry those big, heavy bags of groceries. Or, if we've been shopping lately, let's go. <laughs> Walk it across, there we go. Good, remember to keep your head upright. Ears over in alignment with the shoulders. Woo, all right. It's feeling good. Yes. Woo, are y'all still with me? I'm not here, y'all. All right, last round. <laughs> Round four, <laughs> all right, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, here we go, let's go, and one. Sit on that chair, come up from it, two, and three, and up, ooh, and let's take it to those push-ups. Let's get those strong triceps, biceps. This time I'm gonna demonstrate the ones that you can do kneeling. Here we go, 
and one, two, and three. Good. Strong tricep muscles. All right. Let's pull again. All right, here we go. Woo. All right, and row. One, two, and three. Good. As you do these over time, you will become more efficient at your breaths. And two, three, there we go, good, all right. Let's walk it across. And the more and the more you do your carries, you will find yourself getting stronger and stronger. And you wanna lift as heavy a weight as you possibly can. This does work your grip strength as well. So if you have issues with grip strength, this is the perfect exercise for you. All right, and whoo, last round, yay! <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's tackle this last round, let's do it. And one, two, and three, good. Let's take it to those push-ups. All right, let's get these triceps nice and strong. Let's go, one, two, three, and back up. Last time for that row. All right, here we go. Now, if you do these on a regular basis, go each, go, uh, go up and wait each time. Let's go, one, two, three, good. Take it to the other side. If you happen to be one of those that have weights at home, one, two, and three. Woo, and let's take it to that carry last time. How are we feeling? Are we feeling stronger? Yes, all right, let's go. Remember your posture. Core is tight, abs, grip strength. Keep those weights level. All right, keep it going. And guess what, just for fun, we're gonna do that one more time. Yes, there we go, there we go. We gotta finish it off right, here we go. Woo, and relax. All right. Yes, we did it. We did it, we made it through, there we go. Good job, good job. All right, and that's your functional fitness routine for this week. That's all we have for today. Today's show was brought to you by Wheeler Avenue and Muscleheads Gym. Muscleheads is located at 2715 Emancipation Avenue, right here in Houston, Texas. So if you are in the area or if you're looking for a really cool gym, come over to Muscleheads. Remember, your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit. So choose life by eating to live instead of living to eat. <laughs> and get plenty of exercise to improve the overall state of your health. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.